All of my lifestyle and livelihood has really come from music. It's sustained me. It's given me a look to the future. It's rooted me to my past. It's put me in front of people I never thought I'd meet. I feel like literally like music gives me life. My name is Brittany Benton and we are in Brittany's record shop in Cleveland, Ohio. When I came back from college, I started DJing a lot because it was hard to find a job <laughs> in 2009. And I was approached one day by a man who had a record store and he was going out of business. Originally, it was in a neighborhood called Slavic Village. I bought it from him, named it Britney's, so nobody got it confused who was in charge at this point. And I got the opportunity to relocate to Glenville and I completely jumped on it. Britney's record shop was open on March 21st, 2018. The vibe of a record store is definitely more inviting than your typical retail store. It's the whole experience and you get to take your time with it. My niche is black or black adjacent music. Before this shop, there was no record store in Cleveland that specialized in black music. And a lot of people who could never find those hip hop records, they've never really experienced the art and joy of digging in the crates. If you're digging through the crates, it's like you are seeing this like expanding archive of black music. This one right here, the Vibe Central EP from Blue Lab Beats, it's just great vibes. We got Ann Peebles, Greatest Hits, and to me, she's one of my favorite soul singers. I Can't Stand the Rain, which is the sample from Missy Elliott's. We got Sly and Robbie, which is a tribute to King Tubby, known for their contributions with Grace Jones, Black Uhuru. I look up to these guys heavily. When George Floyd was killed, people from all over were looking for uh, black retailers that they could patronize. And I went from maybe selling about 15 to 20 records online to I was doing like 100 to 150 a day. And it really just kind of changed the trajectory of the shop. Like, okay, this can be a lot more powerful than I originally thought. She's not only here to sell records, but I think she takes very seriously what she can do with this shop in the community. You have to definitely make concerted efforts to give back. This first part of the building is where the record store is. And in the second uh, sector, we're gonna be building out a cafe and a workspace, which is called the Third Space Action Lab and Cafe. We program events here. We were doing things like voter registration. We host a lot of uh, panels. We want to create a space where people can commune and have fellowship. Just a safe space for ideas and people who want to, you know, build and just commune positively. Expanding something different to the Black community other than sports. I think that's very important, you know, because arts is one thing that kind of saved me from all the madness that could have been out there. Brittany is one of two or three black woman record store owners in the country, which is crazy considering how black women are like at the center of the music industry and they're the ones who make the hardest hit in music. As a woman in the record store business, you definitely don't see a lot of black women there's a lot of civic reinforcement of racism that people aren't fully aware of. And I feel that there's still some work to be done. If there's as many black acts and black contribution to music, then we should be participating in every role of the supply chain. Everything about Britney's great. She, she really cares about people. It shows in everything she does, from her DJing to her record shop. And I just hope it sparks and inspires the community. 
I literally feel like I'm waking up in a dream every single day. I try and, you know, represent myself well. I try and represent the city well. And if someone sees that and can take something from it that enhances their life, you know, I, I feel good about that.